Hey guys, Scotty T600 here. I will, today, today, if you're any background noise, I'm sorry, I'm in a different place as you can see. I also am spoiled by my pajamas. Today, I went to see Godzilla 2014 IMAX 3D. And this is the review of it, obviously, and spoilers. There will be spoilers in this video. I'm going to say the ending and most of the stuff, the story, so you may want to get off. That's enough. Um, but what do I think of it first? Let's just see what I think of it. This is not scripted, by the way, as you can see. It was amazing. The, oh my god, Gareth Edwards, is it? The one who directed it, deserves to do way, way more monster films, especially giant monster films. It, oh, I can't even. In IMAX, guys, in IMAX, this film was. Off the top, amazing. Maybe if you don't like 3D, you may not like this film. But personally, I don't mind 3D. But it's still, uh, to me, to me, that other people could say, oh, yeah, yeah, you're wrong. But to me, that is the only way to see Godzilla 2014 is in IMAX. It is just, it's superb, to say the least. I've already cracked my phone. Don't look at that. <laughs> right, so let's talk about Godzilla 2014 and why I liked it. So we'll get onto the monster fights in the end because that's the main thing. Obviously, Muto. I talk about the monsters were Godzilla and Mutos. The Mutos. Right, what should I start with? The story, right, the story. There's characters, there's Aaron Taylor Johnson. I forgot the characters' names already. I'm so. So bad to keep remembering names. But there's Anton Johnson, there's Brian Cranston, is it from Breaking Bad? But he's, he's a really good actor. I'll get into that in a second. This is why I said spoilers. If you want to get off this still, I'm going to leave you. Got done. <laughs> right. If you want to get off, I will get off right now because there will be spoilers in this video. So, oh yeah, if you haven't watched Godzilla 2014, I recommend it in IMAX 3D. If you see it anyways, just see it anyways, but in IMAX 3D it is better, it is just better. Probably, I haven't seen it in any other film, <laughs> that's what I think. By the way, also apologies, um, I haven't done a lot of videos and I said, oh, Godzilla week, the subway my Godzilla week. The fins didn't come from America to that week, but they will be coming soon, I'll do a review on them in a little while. But, today we'll do a review on that, and I've cut there. Today we're doing a review on Godzilla 2014. Focus, 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 focus. Right. Ah, you can tell I'm tired. Right. Uh, the story is basically uh, by Brian Cranston, is it? I don't know, but his character, um, his wife dies, and that that scene really teared me up when he. I'll speak to you about that in a minute, but. Uh, his dies in a nuclear power plant when only I take and Taylor Johnson was only a, a kid. So that's got uh, Taylor Johnson's life basically. But uh, Ryan Crankston then said put that over there. Ryan Crankston then said um, went on trying to say uh, it, it was a natural disaster. It wasn't natural disaster. It wasn't an earthquake. There weren't typhoons and all that off the trailer. You're lying. It's all going to send us back to Stone Age, all this stuff. Uh, basically, they trespass Taylor Johnson and Fing. I'm not going to say the story in detail, like I said in my King Kong thing. I don't say the stories in detail, I just skip through them a lot. But they get arrested for trespassing on ground for reasons. There's a really good Mothra Easter egg. There's like a jar, and it has a, like a, a moth wrapped up in a cocoon, and it says Mothra on it. That, that bit, I was like, oh. <gasps> Awesome. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry, I have a bite my nails. Yeah. Godzilla. Uh, yeah. What happened then is, they guys capture Yosi and you look at me like a fish tank, and he does all that. Uh, but the actual, it doesn't start off like that. It does start off a lot different from the nuclear power plant. But I'm not going to go into the story too well. Basically. Dr. Sarasalis, is it? Yeah, Dr. Sarasalis. 
Well, I believe was the one with the oxygen destroying the first film. If I'd done my research properly. Yes, I did my research on Godzilla or Gojira. That's one thing I did like about this movie. Before they even said Godzilla, they said Gojira. And like Goji fan said, that is great respect to quoting the great Goji fan. That is great respect to the the original language of the the language uh, it came came from the the actual real films. But there was it, an egg for the Muto basically, and they feed off electricity. It one got the one got out. Now is the interesting thing. I, I just gonna skip for another story. Basically, I now Tim Johnson is a bomb expert, so they look at a bomb, blah blah blah, skip, 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 skip. They do the whole halo jump. I'm going really skipping really far now. Do the whole halo jump. Uh, yeah, got to learn all how to fight. And here's the ending. Here's the ending. The two Mutos, which I should talk about now. The Mutos are awesome monsters. Um. I feel they're more featured than Godzilla actually in the movie. Don't want well, the one is, but one flies, the one flies, and the other one doesn't. Now the female is much bigger and is pregnant, and doesn't have wings. But the male has the the wings. So that wings, yes, wings. <laughs> that's so yeah, that's really awesome. Uh, so yeah. Um, I the lover, but in the ending, Godzilla, he does a King Kong type. Well, with the one, he does the, he does his fire breath. By the way, he does, and I was like, oh my god, he's done his fire breath. But he does like this tail whack to kill the one, and then it dies. And the other one, he open, he does a King Kong on this. But I was like, oh no, he's gonna snap the jaw. It's gonna be a King Kong reference or something like that from the, the latest film or something. He opened it up and then got his fire breath and shot it right into the Muto's mouth, the female's Muto's mouth. And I was like. Is he allowed to do that? Is, is Godzilla that brutal? But one thing I like about this movie, the trailer has led us to believe Godzilla was a bad guy. Godzilla is a good guy, and that's why I like it's not a cliche. Godzilla, I'm not saying all the movies are uh, cliche. I, no, no, all the films are great. Uh, I've only seen clips, obviously, but and my, I've done research on them. I watched Watch Mojo do a thing on them, and I, I watched Zilla. Which almost got me not to like Godzilla, but uh, not not Zilla, not Godzilla 1998. I should say because Zilla's a core cool character, like Goji Fan has said. Go on, his kaiju discussions. Ugh. I'm talking about the review of. Uh, I'm going off topic here, man. So let me talk about Godzilla now. Godzilla looked phenomenal in CGI. This is what. Uh, 1998 was expecting and didn't get. So I feel sorry for those people who were in that theatre. But if those people went into this theatre, which some of them might probably did, yes, yeah, some of them probably did, went to the theatre and were like, oh no, please don't be another 1998 situation. Oh no, and then all of a sudden they came out probably going, yes, all this uh, weird empire, people going, oh, three stars. Sorry, you can get your own opinion, it's just I'm saying, to me it was just phenomenal, one of my favourite films, Jurassic Park beats it though, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry about that, um, yeah but Godzilla looks phenomenal, uh, he was badass, and the thing I like about him, in the trench they led him to be a bad guy, but he was a good guy, he didn't want to hurt the humans, and Right at the end, right at the end, you think he's dead because he's completely worn out after fighting the two together. But you think he's dead? Oh god, it's a long review, but you think he's dead on the floor for the film review, but you think he's dead, he's, he's lying on the ground, uh, Dr. Sarasalas, I hope I'm saying it right, walks up, Saul looks at him, and then he opens his eyes, and he gets up, God, Saul walks over, you hear everybody start cheering, clapping, and all the news report says God it says King of the Monsters and that bit just made me go, Yes, 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 this is just a great ending. Then Godzilla does this whole I'm gonna do a demonstration, don't let take them out. Does this up in here, sort of like that, roars, goes into the water, end the movie. Now, here's the thing, Brian Crankston is a, I don't know, I don't know if everyone mentioned this, dies so quickly in the movie. The fact that he was in Breaking Bad and he was such a good actor. 
They kill him off so quickly, it's unbelievable. The Muto comes out, he falls over, he's about to be put in the hospital, uh, into the hospital van. They put him onto a chopper for story reasons, blah 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 blah, uh, and uh, he dies. That bit was, I was like, no, he's faking his death, but then I thought to my other self, I was like, you dumbass, why the hell would he be faking his death in this movie? This ain't Captain America the Winter Soldier. <gasps> Spoilers in this series, see? Nick Fury's town. But, <laughs> anyways, guys, all I can take from this is phenomenal. Makes me want to watch more Godzilla movies. Gareth Edwards, you deserve to do a sequel. And if you don't do a sequel, I swear, I swear to God. Now, this also applies to Toho, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, but Toho, make more, more super movies. And I'll see you guys next time. Five stars for this movie. Goodbye.